the scab of colonialism had been pulled off and that the colonial countries were feeling that blood again and that a big part of why countries, even small countries that are, you know, could not even hope to stand up to US imperialism are risking it all to join the coalition, uh, the Eurasian led coalition. Um, that it, part of this was historical, their opportunity to push back against the, the colonial powers of Europe and US imperialism, being from a country that suffered from colonialism, imperialism, et cetera. What do you think about how the history of, of these things and the oppression, the genocide, et cetera, are affecting these countries and how they're approaching the conflict today? I'm sad to have to say that this consciousness is far less in India than in countries like China. Every Chinese knows, a student in a junior school knows what the Japanese and imperialists did to China and what the century of humiliation was. Indian students are not told the humiliation that was heaped upon Indian people during 190 years of British rule, rule over India. But all, all the same, the Indian ruling class is able to calculate. You know, it knows how to actually make it make a living.